Hello LEGO fans, this is Michael from Renderbricks. Renderbricks is about rendering digital LEGO. Well, I wish I had more time to fill up my YouTube channel with more exciting stuff about digital LEGO, but actually my real life is too intense for that, so I had to push that again into the future. But today I had to find some time to show you something really exciting. Since 2014, I'm involved in a very nice project called Makerbricks. If you don't know Makerbricks, go to makerbricks.com, sign up for free and play with that. It's, to me, the most powerful and most exciting LEGO editor on this planet. Um, in 2014, after a very intense research how to render digital LEGO in a photoreal look, with a 3D software. I found this website and got in touch with Nicolas Jarot. Nicolas is a French guy living in New Zealand and he's the mastermind behind Makerbricks. Uh, I shared all my knowledge and ideas what it needs to render digital Lego in a photoreal look uh, with him. And from this point, the website went into a direction where Nicolas implemented a complete workflow how to export models into Blender and render them out of the box in a photoreal and nice look. So this workflow needs some skills, some basic skills. It's not complicated, but you have to deal with Blender. And the next level now is um, that everything what you can do with Blender is now implemented in Makerbricks. So everyone without any 3D knowledge is able to render their creations out of the box photorealistic. And how that works, I will show you. Um, this website has two sections here. This is a section where users show their models. Let's go here and let's check that out. These are the latest um, published models. And uh, below you will find a section with renderings, with the latest renderings. And this was a rendering I did today with a new online feature. It looks pretty nice. Let's go to the workshop. The workshop is the heart of this website. It's the LEGO editor. I will not go into much details here. I will directly load a test model we want to render. It takes a while because everything is stored online. Okay, let's go down to a folder called Maker Kits. This was a project I was doing with my kids. Let's open the model. And what you see here is the main viewport where you can build and work with 3D Lego. So what's new here is a tab called 3D Rendering. When you go there, you end up in the 3D Rendering section. I have to lock the camera to set a new view. And people who are familiar with Blender will directly recognize that there are typical Blender features implemented because behind Makerbricks is a small render farm using Blender and that's the whole idea. I can switch to some options here. This is a so-called high dynamic range image what is used for lighting. I can add floor to it, scale it up to 32. I have to turn off some effects here I don't want to use now. I switch back to my editor because actually the car sticks into the floor. I have to correct that by moving it up a little bit. Okay, let's do something like this. Now I went go back to uh, the render part. And when I'm happy with my perspective, the only thing I have to do, click on render. And what Makerbricks is doing now, it prepares the model for the processing. It's sent to the farm and now it takes a while, but not so long. 
and you will see a live rendering here. Here we go. Okay, the image is ready. Um, what Nicholas will implement next is that you will see your images here for saving. Actually, I have to use a trick in Chrome. I need to go to sources. Oh, that's, that's wrong. Here we go. This is my image. I can save that. And let's open Photoshop. Let's open this image in my download folder. Should be this. Okay. We'll add a new layer. We'll fill the this layer up with the foreground color. And now we have our result. We'll save this on my desktop. Let's go to the desktop. Here we go. That's the result of the online rendering. A very exciting feature for everyone to use. It even works on a tablet. Nicholas told me today he made a test with an iPad. So the future is bright for the Lego guys. So spread the word, spread the word about Nika Bricks and I would be happy to get more followers on uh, YouTube. So um, have fun with Mika Bricks, happy rendering and see you in the future.